the one for us. Oh, yes. lovely. Mm. Oh, yes, the, uh, the American presidential debates, Obama <laughs> and uh, Mitt Romney. That's uh, Obama delivering pizzas to everyone because he's a communist. <laughs> <laughs> That's him being told to stand up straight. Yeah, so there he is, and he's running to make Paul Ryan. Uh, they're pointing at the sky. Basically, I, I think Obama was judged to have done better this time round than he did the first time round. Yeah, he seems, seems to have quite a low bar. Yes. Will yeah, was there. You saw it, though, didn't you? I, I saw the second debate. I can't watch the first one because I heard that Obama was bad and it was just like, oh, do you want, do you want to watch a film with your dad being beaten up? I was like, no. Um, <laughs> He's your dad! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ron was asked how you going to give uh, men and women equal pay. And his answer was, when I was governor of Massachusetts, uh, I noticed there weren't any women in the cabinet. So I said, go get me some women. People came back with binders full of women. <laughs> I know, it's like he thought that the best way to present myself as a candidate for President <laughs> of the United States is to imply that I maybe kidnap women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he has an incredible history of saying the most incredibly stupid... Uh, yeah. You know, a few months ago, he said, I enjoy firing people. <laughs> I love making people unemployed. <laughs> Why is it that sort of, like, all the people that seem to run for presidents, there's always one of them that's a complete dodo. What's going on? <laughs> 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 I mean, even in name Mitt. <laughs> what sort of name is that? What's it short for? Myth you? I mean, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. and Mrs. Romney, you've got a new child. What are you going to call him? We're going to call him Mitt. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's been very consistent on, uh, on gay marriage. Um, as, a, as a Mormon, um, Mitt Romney believes that marriage is a, a, a sacred covenant between uh, a man and no more than four women. <laughs> Well, no one's uh, mentioned the really big talking point um, in the election debate. It was the, um, the words that the president used oh. to describe a fatal attack on the American embassy in Libya. He said he described it as an act of terror, and Romney said, uh, "Oh, did you?" It was a good moment. He said, "Check the record," and then the moderator said, "Yes, he did, he say, did that. say that." And Obama said, "Can you say that louder, please?" Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who the moderator was? Uh, it was Candy. A... Candy. I just know her by that. Um... <laughs> Candy Crowley. Candy Crowley. Well done, indeed. And how did the twattersphere uh, react to this outrage? <laughs> there was someone called Kay Sarah from London. Mm -hmm. They commented, Sorry, but Western society continues to put its trust in overweight, <laughs> post-menopausal women with typical disastrous effects. Can no one else see this? I mean, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on Twitter? Yes. Yeah, don't go to Twitter for rational commentary. Go oh, to I mean, Radio 5. <laughs> 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 Well, uh, Mitt's wife very movingly uh, described their struggle with poverty as a young married Mormon couple. They moved into a basement apartment and lived there for two years. Our dining room table was a fold-down ironing board. And neither one of us had a job because Mitt had plenty of shares. <laughs> that we could sell. Would you like to see how Mitt Romney introduced his prospective Vice President, Paul Ryan? Join me in welcoming the next President of the United States, Paul Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the man. <laughs> All I can say is, I would break my foot before I tired of kicking that man in the balls. <laughs> This is the latest US presidential debate. Romney defended his position on women's <laughs> rights by saying that as governor of Massachusetts on his desk would be binders full of women, or as Mormons call them, the wedding albums. <laughs> <laughs> and in Idaho, there's a surprise for one young supporter as Mitt Romney agrees to show her the new tattoo he's had done of his opponent's face. Good night.